Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In this short video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add an inquiry form to your WooCommerce product pages. So if you have a WordPress e-commerce website and you want to add an inquiry form to your product pages, where customers can do inquiry about that specific product, you can do it easily by watching this video. And we will not be using any third party plugin, we will be using the normal contact form and then some piece of code that I'll provide in the description. And let's have a look at the form that we will be creating in this video. So you can see this is a single product page. And if I click this button, product inquiry, this will open up a form. You can see your name, your email, then under product name, this will auto pick the product name from here and customer can't change it if i switch to another product this will change the name to that product okay and this is the message field and then a submit button and i can close this form also and you can also add add to cart on this page or you can hide that button if you don't want to i have had an add to cart based on the client's requirements okay so this is the form that we will be creating in this video now let's get started and this is a demo e-commerce website using that same theme if i go to products i'll open up this product and here you can see we have the product description then add to cart and we will see how we can add a product inquiry form here now for that we will go to its dashboard and we'll create a simple form using contact form 7 plugin so let's go to its dashboard and then we'll go to plugins add new and here we'll search for contact form and this is the plugin that we will need so we'll install and activate it once you activate the plugin you will see another tab here contact just go there and click add new and instantly you will get a form like this your name email subject and your message now this form is fine we only want to disable the subject field so that customers can't change it okay for that we can click here i'll hit space and then i'll write read only and this is how you can disable a field and you can make it read only okay and that's it we'll write a form name here i'll call it inquiry form and we'll save this and that's it in addition to it, we will also add some custom PHP code in order to display the contact form on the single product pages and also to add product title here, okay? So for that, you can follow the link in the description, which will take you to this page. Here you can see add an inquiry form to commerce single product pages. Here you can scroll down and you will see this code snippet, okay? You will just need to copy it. Now you can add this code in your function.php file or you can use plugins like code snippets, WP code and so on. Let's go to our dashboard and if you want to use the function.php file from the theme make sure to install the child theme as well okay if i go to appearance here you can see we are using block c child theme and the reason for using the child theme is if we add codes to this child theme the code will still be there even if we update the theme if you use the main theme then you may lose the code after the theme update so that is why we suggest using the child theme so if you are using the child theme you can go to theme file editor under appearance and click i understand then go to function.php file and here you can paste that code now let me explain the code so here you can see we are adding an action after add to cart form you can see we are displaying a button which will be product inquiry you can change the button text here and then we are adding a form which is this one okay contact form 7 and by the way we will have to change this because this is not the actual short code to get the form short code you can go to contact form again i'll open this in a new tab okay and this is the inquiry form so i'll just copy its short code and instead of this i'll paste that code and you can see get the title so under subject field we are adding the product title okay that's it so now i'll update the file if you don't want to use the function.php file you can add plugins like code snippets and wv code let me show you quickly if i go to plugins add new and search for code then these are the plugins that you can use for the same purpose just install and activate any of these then paste your code let me quickly show you if i install it and activate then I get a new menu here, snippets, I'll add new and we'll give it any title like and then this is the function PHP code, okay? So I'll paste that same code here and then we'll change this short code and then we'll scroll down and we'll save and activate it, okay? I already have added this to the function.php file so I don't need this plugin. I'll go to plugins and we'll deactivate it. Now let's check out this on the live website. So this is our product page, if I refresh it you can see product inquiry if i click it then you can see your name email and this is the subject which is the product title and this is the message field and i can submit it and this form will send data to the admin of the website who can then reply to this customer okay so this is how you can add an inquiry form to your e-commerce product pages and if you want to hide a to cart or you want to change this to a to inquiry you can watch my most recent videos about product catalog and you will learn how you can make changes to a to cart and how you can create a wholesale website and so on 
and you can also learn more about Wolfes and Elementor here on this channel. So I hope this video will be helpful for you. Still, if you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next.